do the intro. Well, yeah, but you're. Hey in. guys, welcome to the first edition of the IH10 News for 2024. Yeah, why not? We'll go it with that. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. That's because we do other things like use Wadboard to send out emails now because we're <laughs> cool. Um, team, we're here with two like super big pieces of news, and we're going to keep it to just those two big pieces of news. Piece of news number one is entirely headed up by this man. I know virtually nothing, but I'll pretend to answer your questions when you ask me anyway. This could go really wrong then. Could do, could yeah. uh, Bring a friend week. Um, some of you saw the initial post that we made on Instagram, what, two weeks ago? Uh, some of you got quite excited about it. Uh, it's an opportunity to bring your friend to the gym and see what we do and have them take part in some of the crazy fitness antic things that we do here, right? It's fun. Fitness we antics. Have fun. We do yeah. have fun. It's basically just PE for adults, isn't it? Um, so from 12th to the 18th of uh, February, so what, in two weeks' time, three weeks? Two weeks' time. I'm bad at dates. Yeah, you know, I'm bad this. at dates. Uh, 12th to the 18th of February, we're going to run a Bring a Friend week. Uh, you, as a member, are entitled to bring one friend along to the gym for a week. Um, they can come to the gym three times across that week and just take part in the classes that you take part in. Um, all I need from you guys is that your friend uh, sends an email to the info account, uh, which I'll attach to the bottom of this somewhere down here. Yeah, um, all I need from them is their name and their full email just so I can set them up with a uh, pass on Wadboard so they can book into sessions with you. Um, the benefits list is if your friend then turns around and signs up at the end of the week, which, I mean, they probably will because it's really good fun here, right? Probably. I like um, that. Then your friend will get £45 off of their sign up, uh, be it they're doing the fundamentals or be it just uh, going straight into normal membership, or they. Sorry, and your, you yourself will also get £45 off your next month's membership as well. Yeah. That, be applied to your account as an accredit. Yeah, so we'll credit that 45 for you guys to your Woodboard account, and then basically whatever you buy, whether that's just rolling memberships or you do skill sessions, whatever, the next 45 quid's worth of payments that come out of your account will come out of Woodboard's account instead, I guess, is the yeah. best way to describe that. There we go. And then your friend also gets the same discount as well. Yeah. Uh, three yeah. sessions a week, capped at? Yeah, um, we... we Three sessions at the moment. We'll give you. We'll give, you, we'll give the friend uh, that, that many sessions to play around with across the week. Ideally, obviously, they'd come in with you because you are their friend, and it might be a little bit nervous for them to come without their friend. I don't like coming to the gym without you. I find it very nerve-wracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they'll, they'll probably come with you three times across the week. Uh, or less. We'll, or less. Or they don't have to use them, yeah, all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, um, we will look at this with like the week to go uh, and decide whether potentially more or not. Uh, we'll play that by ear, but at the moment we're going to go for three times uh, across that week uh, and we'll hope to see lots and lots of your friends here. Yeah, in the gym you will see us managing the workouts appropriately. You might see two of us coaching at a time just to keep an eye on numbers. Obviously don't want to stop you guys getting in. That would be really annoying for you guys that are paying to be here. So if we can create an opportunity to get more people in, maybe run some interval style bits or just be a little bit smart, have two of us work in the floor a little bit, might look a little bit different in terms of what you're totally yeah. used to, but it's going to be CrossFit. It's going to be the same programming. No, we're not going to change anything mad. We'll back ourselves to do the thing we do best. You might just see more of me and Rob in classes to make things happen a little bit smoother. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Uh, the second big bit of news is the Open is just around the corner. Yeah, is that like six weeks away? It's just this month, isn't it? So Seven weeks away? Yeah, not Something long like that. at all, maybe even less. Uh, the Open kicks off at the very end of February, very start of March. Rob's going to give us some dates in a second. What is the Open? Uh, it's two things. One, it's the first stage of qualifying for the CrossFit Games. Feels fairly irrelevant to us. It's also one of the largest participatory sporting events in the world, i.e. about half a million people worldwide are going to sign up to the Open. I think one of the cool things about coming to a CrossFit gym is you and 150 other people across the day are going to do the same workout and you share that experience of, hey, front squats and box, burpee box jumps, turns out they're really hard. Well, now we're going to share that with every other CrossFit gym on the planet, which is super cool. Um, CrossFit are going to release one workout uh, each week across three weekends. And we're going to do that one workout on a Friday night here. We're going to turn this into Friday night lights. Um, and then you're going to submit your score into the CrossFit Games website, games.crossfit.com. You need to get signed up to do that. It's $20. CrossFit will take your money. You get a space on the worldwide leaderboard. And then when you do it next year and the year after, you start to build this big, long profile of how many opens you've done. So yeah. I've now got a decade's worth of, you can go and find my athlete profile. Hey, Sam O'Connor finished. 12,000th in the world. No, I didn't. That's too high. More like 20,000th in the world. 
finished 60,000th in my first year, might be 100 and whatever thousand, it's a big number, right? It's, it's cool, you can see a bit of progress, but you also get to see that journey being tracked across all those years. They also log how many members in each affiliate are logged up or signed up to the open. And we're currently sat somewhere around the 30 to 40th in the world, last I looked. Last I looked, and then in the UK, we were seventh last I looked, uh, floating around about 65 signups, I think, at the moment. Last year, 101 of you signed up. No, it was more than that. It was way more. It wasn't way more, it was 101, maybe 102. We only just scraped into the second card from CrossFit. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> We've realized last year we got 101 people to sign up. We had to do better this year. Yeah. So if you're currently sat at home, not signed up to games.crossfit.com, get on that, okay? Um, the last Friday, we're gonna go all in. Uh, that final Friday night lights, what's the date of that one, Rob? 15th of March. 15th of March, yes. We've got a pizza van already booked. They're gonna hang out outside. You can buy pizza for somewhere around 12 pounds. I've forgotten the number. I'll get that number out in the future. You can finish your workout, get pizza, and then hang out and have a good time. Um, it is, for me, the Christmas of CrossFit. It is the best part of the year in this building because for three Friday nights, there's gonna be the best part of 100 people in here having a good time and celebrating fitness, and it is just super fun. Super When's it happening? Fun. When's it happening? A few dates to chuck at you. Uh, so the first Friday is the 1st of March, the second one is the 8th of March, and then the last and final, the biggest Friday of all, is the 15th of March. That's the one with the pizza van and all the other things going on. In terms of timings, so the way we're gonna run this, uh, Fridays are probably gonna look a little bit different. We're gonna usually run it the same way that we usually do, i.e. the gym's actually gonna be closed on the Friday morning on the early hours, just to allow us to prep the gym, get the gym ready, and do all the things we need. On a Friday, we'll, we'll have a two hour slot in the morning, running from 9.30 to about 11, 11.30, for those people that desperately can't make it on a Friday night, although we would want as many of you there on a Friday night as possible. We're then going to close, and then from about 3.30 on a Friday onwards, we're going to open up the gym doors, uh, and we will do the workout, and we'll get everyone through the workout, and we'll close when we need to close. If the workouts are really long, and for some reason we only get two people going at a time, uh, then we'll close really, really that's, late. That's not happening, but yes, Hopefully that will happen. But, um, <laughs> um, some things you need to be aware of. Those workouts get released quite late on a Thursday evening. We then frantically run around in here to get the gym ready. We will send you warm-up videos, strategy videos, and a uh, spreadsheet so you can book into a heat. We'll explain this in more detail nearer the time. Other things that are gonna happen in the gym, uh, for those of you more observant, saw me moving banners around a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Uh, we're gonna chop the team up into three teams. Watch this space for a video next week where we introduce those team captains. They will be signing you up to win points for their team. Points are for things like judging, doing the workout, doing the workout on a Friday, going head to head with someone. If you win the head to head, you get an extra point, uh, so on and so forth. The team with the most points at the end of the open, all their names go on a banner, it goes up on the wall. And if I'm better at my job, I'll order it faster this time. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, if you have questions about the open, in all honesty, ask anyone in the gym, because anyone that was here last year will badger you about just how fun it was yes. and just how cool it is. Rob and I stand at the whiteboard and waffle on about you guys getting signed up for mm. quite some time. And the reason is it is possibly the best thing we do all year. Yeah, 100%. So yeah. if you're umming and ahhing, just go to games.crossfit.com and sign up now. Mm. And if you're still umming and ahhing, come and talk to me or Rob and then go to games.crossfit.com and sign up anyway. Yeah. Um, we will keep this information rolling out between now and the Open in six weeks time. Um, otherwise team, any friends for Bring a Friend Week, name an email address to that man, send it to info at rh10fitness.co.uk. That's the one. Any open questions, ask anyone in the gym or ask us. Um, otherwise team, probably speak to you next week. See you soon. Toodles. Toodles.